Hi, this is Curtis Rambo with I Know The Manager Podcast, and you're watching No Huntsville. <laughs> no, he did it perfect. Uh, my name is Patrick Cunningham. I am uh, one of the hosts and the founder of Clockwork Comedy at the Low Mill. Yeah. This is, this is an applause. This is an applause. Oh, wow, that carries well. Excellent, because you're so far away from me. That's okay. That's okay. How you guys doing tonight? Yeah! Oh, awesome. It's so good to be here at No Huntsville. I love it. Um, uh, I'm not stoned. I'm not stoned at all. I'm just going to put it right out there. I'm not even a little stoned. I uh, wish I was. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard recent elections uh, have dictated that weed is legal in D.C. now, in our nation's capital. Weed is legal. Weed is legal. Which means, uh, and this is beautiful, I don't live in D.C., but it just means when I go to visit, I can now finally enjoy the Smithsonian. That's lovely. <laughs> because you got to think about it, you know, it, it used to, it's not that I'm uncultured or anything, but it, it used to be that I go to, you go to the Smithsonian, and it's always the same thing. It's like, oh, look at that, the spirit of St. Louis. Charles Lindbergh flew that. Oh, man, fuck up what happened to his baby. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. You walk in the next room and then you're like, oh, really? Seinfeld's Buffy shirt? That doesn't deserve to be in the same museum. But I can get high and go to the Smithsonian now. I mean, I did it before, but I can do it legally now. And which means I can go to the Smithsonian and be like, oh, oh look at that, there's an airplane. Dude. <laughs> Seinfeld, right? Dude. Kramer, right? <laughs> Oh, shit, god damn. Oh, man. Yeah, no, uh, I recently had a, a weird experience buying weed. I, uh, to talk about that. I'm talking about it anyway. Um, you can edit it if you want. Um, I, I had a strange experience, man. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I reached out to, it was the same day, it was a surreal experience. The same day I applied for a loan and I got denied because of my credit. Uh, and that same day I was stressed out and I hit up my weed dude and I said, hey man, listen, I just, uh, I need something to take the edge off. Can you, can you spot me a 20 sack? I'll get you back on payday. And he's like, oh man, you're good. Yeah, your credit's good with me. So, uh, apparently my credit score is like 350, but my weed credit score, 725, <laughs> motherfuckers. 725. And you know what? Street street credit score? That's way better. That's way, way better to have, man. Just, I, th think about it. You know, uh, being poor is a strange experience. Uh, I, I've struggled with a while for, uh, with a, I've struggled with it for a while. The struggle is very real. Um, interesting, it's interesting thing that happens when you're poor. Uh, you run into scenarios that other people don't run into. Uh, recently ran out of deodorant and didn't have deodorant replacement money. Has that ever happened to anybody else? Just me? Just me? Not y'all? They're like, we're well to do. We don't, we've never had that problem. Not y'all. Um, I had that problem. And um, it's cool. And, you know, life hack. Here we go. Uh, you take some gold bond medicated powder. You hit the fucking hot spots. Keeps you high and dry all day. Here's the problem with doing the gold bond medicated powder. There's a reason they call it gold bond medicated powder. Because you will stay cool and fresh all day. You will also smell like a nursing home all day. <laughs> and it was a strange experience because I went to my day job and all day long people just walked up to me and were like, you smell good. I was like, geez, people have an old people fetish. That's weird. Uh, and I didn't know what to say. I was like, thanks. Powdered my balls. Thank you for noticing. I appreciate that. This is great. Uh, I am Sam Ashby. Like I said, I come from Fayetteville, Tennessee. I do. Yeah. If you guys want to know more about Fayetteville, there's a really good uh, television show on about it right now. A really good TV show on about it. It's called The Walking Dead. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Meth addicts are actually getting a new upgrade to their meth labs. It's called Holiday Inn. Like yeah, you get free awesome awesome making ice. It's a pretty good deal. Oh, man. Uh, Fable's motto is uh, weird tradition meets tomorrow. 
So you just want to close your eyes with me and just imagine racist walking around with smartphones. <laughs> <laughs> That's Fayetteville. <laughs> Fayetteville has a big following of the KKK on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag my power. <laughs> I didn't say that, they said that. <laughs> Don't kill the messenger. Um, <laughs> What else, what else is up in Fayetteville? Uh, big thing in Fayetteville every year is the Lincoln County Fair. Have you been at Lincoln County Fair yeah. before? All right. I hate to break, break it to you guys, but if you go to Lincoln County Fair, apparently diabetes is contagious. <laughs> Didn't know it. Went to the fair one day, woke up the next morning, like feeling like shit. Went to the doctor. He's like, yeah, man, you have diabetes. I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, where have you been the last few days? I'm like, well, it's not the fair. He's like, well, that's where you fucked up, man. <laughs> Didn't know. Apparently there's cholesterol in the air. <laughs> is, that a, is that a diabetes thing? I don't know. I don't know anything about science. Um, um, went to high school in Fayetteville. That was fun. Guys, you know you need new you you know you need new friends whenever you're jamming out when they ask you to jam out with them. They invite you over to uh, jam out with them and they hand you the fucking tambourine. <laughs> They're just like, you have to tap an idiot. I'm like, alright, we get it. <laughs> I get it. High school was fun though. Uh, one time in science class, my science teacher, she said, my science teacher, science guys, science. Guys like science, science yeah. is cool, science is cool. Science teacher, she said, guys, I don't know how they came up with the idea of evolution. And I raised my hand and I said, I don't know how the fuck you got this job. <laughs> I, uh, one time I walked into class and this girl in the back of the classroom, she said, uh, hey, do you wear that same shirt on Monday? I said, yeah, I may wear the same shirt twice in a week, but you'll be the bishop for the rest of your life, so it works out. <laughs> badass, guys, I'm a badass. <laughs> I'm a fucking badass. 